Hi everyone, so today I am here for a pregnancy comparison video. I've been asked in real life and on YouTube and on Facebook and everything like that how this pregnancy is different from my last pregnancy or what things are the same. So I thought I was going to make a little video about that um, and we kind of just compare the physical, mental, spiritual, stuff like that. We're just going to compare the pregnancies um, as best as I can. As for the physical aspect, Comparing the two, the Logan's pregnancy was a breeze. Um, I didn't really have a lot of symptoms that were really bad or really like profoundly like in your face. I mean, I had some nausea and I had heartburn up from like, I don't know, 20 weeks up until the end, something like that. But looking back at it, that's basically all I remember from it. Um, the heartburn, a little bit of nausea. I was tired, especially in the beginning. Um, but physically seen, I wasn't really like challenged or I didn't really have to like adapt myself or, or like I couldn't do everything I wanted to do anymore. It was, it was kind of like I needed to take it a little bit easier, but that was it. Um, as for this pregnancy, it is definitely a whole nother story. I've been a little bit more sick, I think, especially in the first trimester. I've had heartburn starting at like 12, 13 weeks. And right now it is every day, all day, it never really ends, it's horrible. Um, I have lower back pain all the time. Um, like, everything just seems a lot more intense and I definitely need to spread out my energy a little bit more throughout the day. I was, Logan obviously didn't have a dollar to run around after um, the Logan's pregnancy. But I definitely need to make sure that I have my rest moments right now and kind of also in a way deal with mommy guilt because sometimes I just sit on the couch and I feel like I should do something with Logan. But I know if I do something with Logan then I'm going to be so exhausted and so pooped I cannot even cook. So um, yeah, it's kind of like, it's been more of a struggle to balance out my energy and the activities we do and everything feels like it's been more of a challenge physically seen. So as for the emotional part, I was definitely struggling with that when I was pregnant with Logan. His pregnancy was way more emotional than it was physical. Um, I was so scared I was gonna go after my mom and not being able to provide a safe and you know loving and nourishing uh, environment for my baby and a lot of the times I wonder like what did I get myself into why did I want the baby now and you know, I wanted the baby and I, and I wanted to give it all the love and you know everything that I had but at the same time I was really scared that what I was going to be able to give the baby wasn't going to be good enough and I don't know I was just really struggling with myself and especially because for most of my life I've been a workaholic and the one thing you can't really be if you're pregnant is working 80 hours a week so I was definitely struggling with my own personality and with like all of the emotions from my own childhood and it just, I became a hot mess by the end of the pregnancy. I was really not a fun loving person. I just wanted to get the baby out because that's the only solution there was. If you want to know, like if you want to be like comforted in how you are as a mom or like you want to know how you are as a mom or how life is going to be with a newborn. You gotta get the newborn, you know, you just gotta do it. So uh, I was really, really anxious on getting him here and just trying it out and hope for the best. This part you see, I'm really emotionally seen. I'm just eh, stable. Like, I feel like nothing can drive me insane right now. We have rebuilt the attic. Rob has this radioactive treatment. Logan had chicken pox and like everything happened at the same time. I was like, yep life just happens that's the way it goes and I didn't panic I didn't I mean, it was hard but it wasn't like I wasn't breaking down over it and I just feel I feel fine I mean I'm not necessarily on like the pink cloud but I'm not on some dark cloud beating prenatal depression either I mean I'm like yeah I think I'm just basically the same it's the way it is you know life goes on that kind of a flow whatever happens happens which is really nice um as for the planning for baby aspect of pregnancy with logan i was frantically planning everything his nursery was bought when i was 16 weeks before i was 20 weeks everything was on like the nursery was set up um 
there was like decals and recently I had like do a little bit of details but um, the stroller was ordered and like, we had a car seat we had basically all the big stuff and all we need to do was like you know decorate a little bit or you know get a few more clothes but basically we already had a lot of clothes and you know I was basically ready for him to come in 20 weeks and this time around I'm still not ready like I am almost 30 weeks and I'm like no and I think that's kind of what hit me this week mostly um, Rob and I were talking about labor and delivery and how that um, will go in our home um, because with Logan we had a hospital birth because I was not allowed to birth at home and um, we were kind of going over like the theory of it I was kind of explaining to Rob like what I've read and what I've seen and stuff like that and he was like well where are we gonna leave Logan and I'm like wherever's available at that time I mean, we have Rob's dad and stepmom we have my dad and stepmom and then we have Rob's mom I'm pretty sure one of them has time to pick up Logan or to take care of him and if not then I guess you will have to do it you know and I'll just go ahead and have the baby with the midwife I don't know we'll just wait and see I'm pretty sure that's not something that's gonna happen um, if anything of all the stuff I've read uh, on having your second baby is as long as your first baby needs you you're not gonna go into labor so you need to have to rest and peace and quiet um, so yeah I'm definitely not planning ahead as much with Logan I had a birthing plan ready I knew I wanted in the delivery room I knew I wanted the pictures to be taken and you know I knew it all <laughs> I had it all written down and now I'm like you know if it is during the night and you feel like you should have someone over we'll just call and see who can come over and if it happens to be so that my stepmom is going to pick up Logan or my dad is gonna pick up Logan and my stepmom comes in and joins us and she wants to hang out with us for a little bit while I go to the contractions and take a few pictures and that's fine and if she doesn't then that's fine too you know I'm not really side A personality about stuff like that anymore which is really nice the only thing I am type A about this pregnancy that I absolutely wasn't is about the postpartum time with Logan I did not prepare for the postpartum time at all the only thing I had were liners like pads and uh, some old underwear and some nursing pads I could wash and that's it like I did not plan ahead for that at all now I'm like making sure that I have all nursing tops nursing tanks um, I have a lot more washable nurf nursing pad things um, I have freezer meals planned out I have my breast pump here already, I have a ring sling, I have like... That is something I'm really focused on right now because I know how busy those first two weeks of Logan felt and how uncomfortable you are because you're not in a schedule, you're not in a routine, you're still getting to know each other and you don't really know what you're doing and you can really not do that at all. Like figure, like go like six trips to the store in one day because you realize you need nipple cream or you need something to help with gas for newborns or something like that you cannot take that many trips with a newborn and a toddler and yeah I just want rest and peace and quiet in those first few weeks so we can just get all used to each other and get into a nice comfortable routine so that is basically the difference with Logan it was emotional type A Pregnancy that physically was not nothing special. This time around, physically, I'm more challenged and I am focused way more on the postpartum period. Um, if anything, like I'm not focused on the labor part, I'm not focused on the delivery part, I'm not really that focused on um, like washing clothes or um, like giving everything its own spot. Like, seriously, the clothes are somewhere in there and that was somewhere in there and we'll just. Life goes on, we'll figure it out. If you have anything to say or ask, then leave those in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you thumbs it up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that because I put up videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.